the very beginning years were pretty much fun and games. Days, there's no training kites, there's no schools, there's no nothing. Getting Robbie into it was, was uh, you know, here's an, here's an icon and, and having him take off of the thing and just loving it was incredible. And Robbie, he made the first four line kite that made it more controllable, uh, more user friendly. The feeling of kiteboarding is kind of a mixture of a bunch of different sports, different elements. It's a bit windsurfing, a bit wakeboarding, a bit surf, skate, you know, snow style. Mix in with occasionally a bit of paragliding. Bring it on. Robbie Nash trying to fight fire with an extinguisher, blanketing out any of the tech tricks any of these kids can pull with huge air. That's it, it's all done by the shouting. The championship will consist of Nash versus Ruben Lenton. The stage is set. Old school versus new school. Who's gonna get schooled? I'm sure new school is gonna kick my butt, but I'm gonna go down smiling, you know? You have to have a certain kind of character if you want to be successful for a long time. You gotta be selfish, for one, and I think I'm pretty selfish. You gotta be driven, you gotta be super motivated, you have to be self-motivated. You know, if you gotta wake up in the morning and have somebody else kick you in the ass, you're not gonna succeed in board riding. I don't plan things out real long, I never have. You know, usually if you read books about successful people, they're always setting goals and achieving goals. God, I never had any goals. <laughs> I'd be like a full loser if you took my personality. <laughs> 